All right, so you know we had to do it. The Blue Jays made a huge move last night, signing George Springer to six years, $150 million contract. They also signed Kirby Yates to a one-year deal and added a little bit of pitching depth in Tyler Chatwood. I think all three moves are phenomenal. Obviously, the big one being George Springer. Big, big pickup for them. That lineup is looking so stacked. I see them being a contender for the AL East. On top of that, you know, they probably could use a couple more pieces to even make them better. But this team is really a team to look forward to in the future. They're young. They still have a lot of prospects in the farm system. This team is looking really good. They're really building, like, the winning formula. So I'm liking what they're doing. We're going to do a Toronto Blue Jays rebuild. You guys seem to always love the Blue Jays rebuild. So, of course, if you do, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And, of course, get in the comment section. Let me know if you thought George Springer was going to sign with the Blue Jays. Or do you think he was going to go to the Mets? Did you think he was going to go to the Red Sox? Let me know. Do you think George Springer was going to settle in Toronto? Of course, on top of that, let me know if you thought the deal was a good one. Six years. I mean, he is 30. It kind of makes a little sense. This is probably like his last long-term deal. On top of that, $150 million. It, it is a lot. But if you look at it, I feel like that's pretty fair for what he's, you know, like the market was going for 25 million a year i feel like that kind of makes sense there so all right settings look good we're gonna keep everything manual of course and then we're just gonna hop into the regular season so you know the deal i'm just gonna hop i'm just gonna hop into the draft we're gonna focus on that for this first season and then once we actually start the first season we'll of course address the off season first and then hop into the first season i made a mess of that you guys know how it works i see you guys in a bit okay so this is the first time i've ever seen this tanner roark retired what excuse me i feel like huh that's no 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 no. this can't happen we gotta I, I can't have that i gotta restart we can't have that okay so we finally got it tanner roark didn't retire and the reason i did that was because i feel like tanner roark could still help us out in the starting rotation he may not be the best but as a four or five on a somewhat cheap deal i feel like that's a good move Ken Giles, VR, I'm pretty sure all these guys weren't brought back by the Blue Jays. And realistically, I don't want VR. He's just too expensive for not enough production. Taiwan Walker potentially is a name I'd be happy to bring back. I'm kind of intrigued to see what the rest of the rotation did. I mean, he would slot in nicely in this rotation. A lot better than what we had. And realistically, with... The money that has been spent on Springer, like Ryu, and there's a couple other players that I know I'm going to have to pay slash maybe want to get rid of. I don't know if I really want to go out and spend crazy amount of money this offseason. I'd rather save it for the like going into season two to spend some money. So what I'm thinking is... Ken Giles, I'm gonna let walk. VR, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring back Taiwan Walker on a, on a one-year deal. Actually, I'm gonna do my specialty. You guys know about it. The two-year club option. Boom, there it is. And then on the rest of the guys, I'm gonna let walk. So here we go. Let's keep moving forward. Let's hope that Taiwan Walker signed that contract. He did. Perfect. All right. So I'm gonna add Murray. I'm gonna add Manoa. Make sure we don't lose those guys. And then there's a couple others that I want to make sure that I don't lose arbitration let's see here how did travis shaw do he was okay not not terrible obviously limited appearances as a bench bat if i can sign him on a cheap deal maybe maybe how did ross stripling do not great probably gonna let him walk ryan dull he could come in and maybe help us out in the bullpen maybe chase anderson maybe could help us in the bullpen i know brandon drury signed with the mets in real life so i'm gonna let him walk um but I'm thinking maybe Teoscar, Travis Shaw, and then Anderson, Dahl, and then Joseph. Those would be the op the arbitration players that I or give arbitration to. Contracts, I'm going to give it to everybody here from what I, I know of. If there's someone big that I don't, then I'll tell you. Free agency. I said I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Maybe someone like Drew Smiley. Maybe trade one of the pitchers that we do have. Maybe add Drew Smiley to the rotation. I think that's a good cheap option that usually does well. Bullpen. I know Alex Wood signed with the Giants in real life. Uh, maybe Kaoni Kayla. That actually wouldn't be a bad pickup to just slot him into the setup role immediately. And then looking at the rest, maybe Jonathan Scope. But we don't really need Jonathan Scope. We can have Biggio play second. 
We also need to get rid of Grichik because Grichik is just kind of extra now that we have like a full outfield. I know the Blue Jays in real life are looking to bring in Michael Brantley. So how does that work with the lineup? Unless they think, you know, Biggio third, maybe move Guriel to the infield and then let Brantley play play the left field spot with Vlad or Telez playing the DH. How is this going to work? I'm so confused. But you know what? Let's since that is the rumor, that's like the hot rumor that's going around. Let's bring in Michael Brantley. Let's let's do it. I'll bump up his his pay a little bit. We won't go crazy. We'll give him two years. So it'll be season one, season two. And then by season three, we can uh, go with somebody else. If he doesn't sign with me, though, we're kind of in a tricky spot. And like someone like Jonathan Scope, I feel like fits the team a little bit more. Maybe some infield help. But I really want to focus on the pitching. So let me focus on the pitching first. And then if I have a little bit of money left over, then we'll bring in Michael Brantley. So one thing that I think the Blue Jays lack currently is just really good starting pitching like yeah they've have like they have like good back end of the rotation guys you know three four fives but they need someone to kind of compliment ryu they need someone that's there to help them out and that's what we're gonna go get so i was looking around the league seeing who you know who who's out there who we could get and uh someone that came across my mind and who i saw was corbin burns someone i still think has a lot he's got a high ceiling i think if he can tweak a couple more things he can be a very very good pitcher he he is good he is good but i think he's maybe maybe consistency there's there's like something that's just missing with him that he's just not maybe not putting it together completely i think he's got all the tools he's just got to put it together so he was someone that i've really had my eye on and the Blue Jays have the farm system to make a trade like this work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in Trent Thornton. Just, he, he doesn't look bad. Like, he did pitch a couple innings last year, did decently. But I feel like if I'm going to get someone that's really going to help us out, probably should do it now. And the trade that I'm going to do is I'm going to trade Grich. Ooh, was it not Grichik? Oh, it was a shortstop prospect. Orelvis Martinez. We don't need him. You know, Austin Martin could potentially become come a backup in a couple seasons. So I'm going to trade Yamaguchi, Thornton, and Orelvis Martinez for Corbin Burns. And I'm thinking about it now. If I can keep Shun Yamaguchi and I can shed the contract of Randall Gritchick to make this deal happen, and I can. Ooh. So now I'm thinking maybe I keep Trent Thornton, give him Shun Yamaguchi, and that's the deal. And we lose the contract of Randall Gritchick. That works out a little bit, a little bit better. I like that trade more. Yes, we do have a copious amount of pitchers that I may or may not want to get rid of. So now what I'm going to do is figure out what we're going to do with all these pitchers because we got a lot. And realistically, it's whoever did the worst last year. Robbie Ray did pretty bad. So did Tanner Roark. Um, so did Tyler Chatwood, but he's a new signing. So I feel like getting rid of him, probably not the best move. So let's, let's, let's take a look here. Let's see what we have. So, um, Jordan Romano is going to get called up. He sat in AAA last year. So you can see that I signed Jeremy Jeffers. I brought back Ryan Tapera used to be with the Blue Jays and then went to the Cubs. So I signed these two guys. Actually, both were Cubs players, super cheap deals. Both had great seasons last year. So I figured let's pick him up. Ryan Dull was in AAA last year. Barucki had a good year. Romano. So now I'm kind of looking at it and I'm going, maybe we run something like this and then still get rid of Thornton. Or ah, maybe, maybe just run something like this or get rid of Thornton and see if we can get something to kind of help the lineup. But where do we try to improve the lineup? The lineup's looking great. You know what I mean? And Thornton could potentially take over for one of these guys who... Oh, this is tough. This is tough. So so maybe we actually... Maybe we maybe we do trade Thornton and try to get like a really good bullpen arm. Because like Ryan Dahl looks decent. You know, Romano. You've got Barucki. But I feel like we're missing someone that's really good. So as good as Ryan Dahl looks, let's, let's try to get a really good bullpen arm. All right, so Reese McGuire, you know, off the field things, like he likes to touch his thing. Uh, Trent Thornton, we're going to get rid of him, like I said. And then Derek Fisher, we'll, we'll trade him. We're going to trade those three for Jordan Hicks of the Cardinals. Again, not a trade I totally expect to happen, like not even close to happening. And to be honest, I'd rather get rid of Danny Jansen 
just because I ah, will hold on to Danny Jansen. We might end up needing him for another trade down the line. I know I'm thinking of getting rid of players already, but I feel like getting Jordan Hicks, that, that's a good move. That's a good move right there. And so now what we can do is send down Ryan Dahl, keep him for a rainy day. Sounds terrible, but like that's just kind of something that's going to happen. And then when you look at the, the bullpen now, we've got... Jordan Hicks set up, Kirby Yates closing it out, Jeffers, Sepera, Romano, Barucki. We got Chatwood. Our starting five looks a lot stronger now. And then our lineup, we're, we could use a couple players. Yeah, we could use a couple outfielders, which we can just sign in free agency. But look at this. I'm going to move Lourdes Guriel to third. I thought about moving him to second. I guess we could technically move him to second. But we did bring in Michael Brantley, two-year deal. I think it was like a 11 and a half million for the two years. And then you look at the rest of the team. I mean, this team is stacked. I'm pretty sure Guriel used to play the infield when he first came up with the, the Blue Jays. And then he sent them down. And then they called them back up. And then he went to the outfield. I think that's what it was. I could be wrong, though. Maybe I am. I don't know. So what we'll do is we'll just sign some... Let's just let's bring in Brian Goodwin for a season. And then we can have one more player on the squad. So let's just go... Maybe another infielder. We have, who do we have? Telez, Shaw. I had, did sign Tommy Lestella. I didn't even mention that. So what I'll do is I'll just I'll just bring in another infielder. It's nothing. It's you can't go wrong with having extra infielders. Or we'll go an extra outfielder. What I don't know. We'll go Jacoby Jones. Why not? Jacoby Jones, join the squad. Boom. There it is. So what I need to do is make sure Jacoby Jones is on the MLB roster, which he is not. Boom. There we are. So this is our 26-man roster for the season. You know what? This is a pretty good team. I feel like we're we're doing pretty well. This is this is a scary looking lineup. It's young too. Oof. And then we look at the budget. We're way within budget. And Roark leaves. Robbie Ray leaves. Yates, Listella. You got Shaw. Um, I ended up not bringing back Chase Anderson. His contract was like six million. No, thank you. I spent the money somewhere else and did a lot better. So that's the team. I want to see where we're ranked. So let's get into the regular season, see where we're ranked as a team. Number 14, that's a lie. We're going to do a lot better. I'll see you guys at the end of it. All right, so the season didn't go as planned, 82 and 80. I'm a little disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I thought we were going to do a little bit better. So let's take a look here. So the Yankees ran away with the division. We missed out by 23 games. Not great. ERA is killing us. So we definitely need to spend money on pitching. Wild card, four and a half games. So we're not too far out, but uh, we're not as good as I would have hoped. Kirby Yates was great as a closer, but I don't know if I can bring him back. He might end up falling off overall wise pretty quickly. So I definitely want to bring in another starting pitcher, like a top end starting pitcher and uh, probably need to strengthen the, the bullpen a little bit more. So let's let's take a look here. Let's see. Yeah, Tyler Chat was not coming back like. Just not worth it. But Ryan Barucki, great. Love seeing this. Love seeing that. Jordan Romano was good. Tapera, not so much. Jeffers, not so much. Jordan Hicks was good, though. And so was Kirby Yates. But you can see he's going down. Actually, we might be able to get another year out of him. So, Jeffers and Tapera is not coming back. Tyler Chatwood. So, the three Cubs, not coming back. Bad idea. Didn't work out. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it just didn't work out. Ryu is going to continue to go down in rating, which does suck, but we're going to try to keep him in the rotation. Corbin Burns. Really? What happened? I mean, we're going to stick with him, see how he does. Robbie Ray, I don't want to bring back. Tanner Roark, not going to bring him back, even though he had a great season. Taiwan Walker, maybe. Maybe keep him in this five spot, but we definitely need to strengthen this pitching. I said that was the kind of big weak point. I thought I would have found some okay options for, like, one season just didn't really work out. So we definitely need to spend some money there. And looking at our bench, Tommy Listella was a pretty good pickup. Five million. Can't complain about that. Uh, Danny Jansen was all right off the bench. Jacoby Jones, not terrible off the bench either. So not too bad. Uh, Michael Brantley, not as good as I would have hoped. Um, got one more year. I'll probably keep him. He kind of fits that leadoff role pretty well. Uh, Bo Bichette, great season. Love seeing those numbers. George Springer's putting up really good numbers. Tiasca Hernandez is doing well. Guriel, ah, man. Kind of was hoping for a little bit better. Same with Rowdy Telez. Just not doing what I was expecting. I was expecting, you know, 20 plus home runs minimum. Vlad Jr. 
getting better. So I expect him to have a really good season for season two. BGO did well. Alejandro Kirk is doing okay. But kind of disappointed with the team there too. Austin Martin, I mean, he's not too far off being MLB ready with those hitting stats. And like, if like Guriel's not doing well, I might just trade him, say, we've got a guy who's looking to come up and take your spot, you know? Um, one player that I did forget to mention that was a trade, or not a trade pickup, a um, draft pick, this guy, Julian Lofgren. He's like the only one that really has any good potential that will feature in this rebuild. He won't feature in season two, but definitely season three. This guy looks really good. I wanted a bullpen arm that we could use. This guy was the guy. He looks really good. So that's, that's really all I got to say. So season one, not as expected, but we're not too far off. That said, the Mets beat the Angels in the World Series. But I, I feel good. I feel good about the team we have here. So what are we going to be looking at here? Taiwan Walker, I'm going to pick it up. Like five starter, five and a half million. Pretty solid deal. Kirby Yates, can I get one more year out of you in the bullpen? That would be awesome. Um, I'm going to decline that. Uh, not pick up Tapera. Actually, I'm going to let everybody else go. What about Listella? Listella, like one more year. Almost five mil. I'd take that. That's a pretty solid pickup. And as we keep going forward, who, what's our money looking like? Three mil, who do we have to pay coming up here? Um, Not really anybody that like is gonna require a lot of money. So I think we could go out and get someone pretty decent. Offensively, not gonna be it. I'm really hoping there's some good pitching here. Please be some good pitching. So I'm gonna add Thomas Spinone. I'm gonna uh, look at arbitration here. Yeah, I guess everybody might as well, right? Ryan Dahl went down to a 69. He's actually a 73, just has bad morale. He could potentially be a bullpen arm if we can't get anybody crazy. I'm going to offer everybody a contract. And then looking at free agency, there are some good pitchers. There are some good pitchers here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So how are these guys looking? He could potentially come up next year. Same with Nate Pearson. I think Nate, I don't even know the stats though. I know Nate Pearson's a little bit better in real life. The stats just aren't there yet um, on MLB The Show. I just know he's going to get rocked. And I mean, they could definitely just fill out the rotation there, not spend any money, save it there and just spend big on the bullpen. I'll have to see. Because like looking at it now, you know, I either spend really big on Kershaw, really big on Syndergaard and like... Is that the move or do we spend big on the bullpen? Maybe we spend big on the bullpen. I'll think about it. I'll see you guys next season. Season two, I'm going to go after Caleb Ferguson for Thomas Pannone, Ryan Dahl, and Sean Reed Foley. I tried to get Dan Winkler. Didn't work. He went to the Dodgers instead. So I figured let's just take a lefty from them. And uh, I did get Ryan Presley though, which, which is okay. One year, six million. Hoping that we can get a better bullpen arm next year. And then I kept everybody that did well last year. So Romano, Barucki, Yates, Hicks, Presley. Desclafani was brought in to be a long reliever. Has had two really good seasons. So I'm hoping for four and a half million. Maybe he's a cheap little pickup for us. Um, without going out and signing like a big name pitcher, I felt like that was probably the best option. I'm going to give Pearson and Manoa their chance. Hopefully they do well. I think Manoa pitched last year for 18 innings. Had really good success. Same thing with Nate Pearson. So... Fingers crossed they do well. Otherwise, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Taiwan Walker is probably going to be the one that moves out of the rotation. And we look to sign someone big next year. Corbin Burns, make or break year. And then I know Ryu is going to drop in rating. So I'm fully expecting him to be like a three or four in the rotation. So that's why I'm saying I need Burns to do well. Probably going to replace Walker with a ace next year and see how it goes. Offensively, I know this team underperformed last year. I need them to do better. That's really what it comes down to. They underperformed. The pitching, I felt like, wasn't bad. I just felt like they didn't get the support that they could have with this lineup. So hopefully they do well. I did bring in Michael Brousseau on a two-year deal. One and a half million. Super cheap. And he's just a good bench bat to have. I actually like all our bench bats. I like our offensive lineup. I just feel like we've really underperformed last year. So I'll show you the rest of the moves that we did. Uh, this was one that I'll bring up. B, potential 72 overall, middle infielder. 
probably going to be a trade piece since we're making a lot of trades. The only other player that I wanted to show you was to show you that that was a draft pick that I got. Julian Lofgren. There you go. He was a draft pick. That's it. I think this guy has B potential, but he's not going to feature. But um, this guy was the big one. He'll definitely feature next year. So as a team, we're ranked 17th. So a little bit worse than what we were last year, which I don't fully understand. I feel like we're a really good team. I feel like we're getting underrated a lot. Like, I feel like this is a good team. I said that last year we also did really bad. So hopefully we can do better this year. I'll see you guys at the end of it. All right, so we made the postseason as a wild card team. It's looking like pitching still not there yet. Just not there yet. So we're second in the East. We're 10 games out. It does look like we did improve pitching wise. Um, the Rays took the division. And then looking around the league, we got the second wild card spot. We were three games behind the Astros. So, okay. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. We at least made the postseason. The thing is, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking the starting rotation is going to need a big overhaul this year. So, we got a Delivery Man of the Year award looking around the league. Corey Seager's with the Marlins now. Okay. You got Soto taking MVP there. Dude, Soto, Soto is going to be so good in real life. He is going to be like... He, he's unreal. He is going to be so, so good. So, okay, rookie of the year went to a couple. All right. I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing there. So, pitching wise, let's see what we got. Descalfani, not great. I, I'm not doing too well with this long relief spot. It's not going too well. But Rocky's looking great. Romano was not as good as he was last year. Um, he is getting better, but I might look to improve there. Caleb Ferguson, great pickup. Kirby Yates is still doing great. How much did he drop in overall? This might be his last year, but he is doing fantastic. Jordan Hicks is still doing really well. And Ryan Presley was amazing. Amazing. Love it. So, bullpen, fantastic. Love what I'm seeing there. Hyunjin Ryu dropped a little bit in overall, but still putting up fantastic numbers. Corbin Burns improved a little bit, but I don't know, man. He might be a trade uh, next year. Taiwan Walker still did really well like what I'm seeing, but I really want to improve this starting rotation because Nate Pearson and Alex Manoa, they didn't do too good. And I don't know if I can keep them in the rotation. I want to because I know they're really hyped up in the Blue Jays system and they're looking like, you know, top pitching prospects. But I think for this rebuild, it's just one of those things that it's just not there yet. Not there yet. So our bench was... It was okay. It wasn't spectacular. Michael Brantley had quite the season. Definitely an improvement from last year. I could definitely see myself bringing him back after what he just did. Uh, Bo Bichette, a little bit of a step back from last year, but still pretty respectable numbers. On top of that, 24 steals. George Springer, not too bad. I'll take that. Teoscar Hernandez, ooh, he's a free agent. 42 home runs, too. I, I, I think I got to bring him back. Uh, Guriel had a good season. Rowdy Telez, I might look to replace him. He's just, he's going to be cheap. He's on arbitration, but like, I feel like we need a better DH. You know what I mean? Vlad had a great season. Biggio had a good year. Alejandro Kirk, you know, is okay. But I feel like we need to fill that DH spot with someone really good. And I'm thinking maybe we just put Guriel in that spot and we let Austin Martin play that third base position. I think that makes the most sense. So postseason time what are we going to do here against the astros win perfect that's what i like to see we're taking on the angels now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put ryu i'm going to put ryu there i feel like that's our that's a good spot for him and as we take on the angels we advance okay so now we're taking on the indians nate pearson probably don't want that um so i'm going to go so we had nate pearson so i'm going to go like this and hopefully that, that lines it up perfectly and we can get a good matchup. So we're going to have Ryu, uh, Burns versus Plesek. We take a loss there, but Ryu gets us the win in the second matchup. We get the win in the third. Bieber versus Pearson. I don't like this matchup, but we're going to do it. We take a 4 nothing loss. All right, so we're in a tight spot. We're kind of in a make or break situation. So let's put Ryu there. Hopefully we don't lose. This is kind of a pivotal matchup. Boom, Ryu lost it. And then Burns keeps us alive. Chatwood. Ooh, okay. So we had Manoa. So I'm going to throw Taiwan Walker there. And hopefully he gets us the victory. We do. Oh, we're taking on the Braves in the World Series. Okay, so who's pitching? We got to figure this out. Manoa. Okay, so Manoa's actually doing well. So what I'm going to do is, and Pearson is, better than these two. So maybe we go like, 
maybe Manoa, Pearson, Taiwan Walker, maybe something like that. Let's see. Let's see how the series is going before we we jump the gun. We take the first loss. Okay. We get the second. Take a big defeat on the third and the fourth. I mean, maybe we should have went with the the veterans here, but like they were they were rocking the hot hand in the postseason, and we're taking it to a game seven. We got to quick manage this one. This is a game we definitely need to quick manage. And let's see how we do. We're home, so that's really good. Uh, Corbin Burns, we we got to give it to him. Everybody else looks like they're a little tired or they're getting rocked up a little bit. So taking on the Braves, they got Brock Holt in the lineup. Otherwise, it looks like a pretty standard lineup. They do have Drew Waters and Christian Pache in there. That's that's a scary looking lineup. They got Kluber on the mound. Okay. Not no Travis Darno. Don't do that to me. Not like that. Come on. All right, Corbin Burns, I need you to have a really good outing here. I need the offense to kind of pick up. Okay. Fielder's choice. No. Where's the bats, man? Where's the bats? All right, we got to take out Corbin Burns. We need a lefty here. Caleb Ferguson gets the out. Just what you're looking for. Perfect. But we're just, where's, where's the bats? Where's the bats? We don't have any offense anywhere. Anywhere at all. There we go. Rowdy Telez ties it up. You love to see it. A walk, a fly out. Can Kirby Yates get this out? Single. All right, let's get the... Do we have another lefty? We have Barucky. Fielder's choice. And a ground out. Perfect. The matchup worked perfectly. We got Biggio here. Gets on base. Kirk. Okay. Brantley, I need you here. A double play. But B Oh, Bichette. Thank you. Brings in the, the leading run here. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get the setup, man. Jordan Hicks on the mound. He strikes out the side. Oh, and then Teoscar Hernandez goes deep, makes it three to one. And we're looking. Come on, get that insurance run. Four to one, make it seven to one. And I'm loving what I'm seeing. So you know what? Let's see how this goes. Hicks allows a single, a strikeout, an error. So let's let's not mess around anymore. Let's get Presley in. A fly out. And there we go. World Series victory coming off. A wild card spot love it Michael Brantley have yourself a day playoff MVP Roddy Telez World Series MVP love it love it love it so let's hop into the offseason let's see what we're gonna do with this team because we, we won a World Series so I mean I don't know what more we can do hopefully win another World Series but um exclusive negotiations I'm gonna bring back Brent oh I'm gonna hold off on Brantley um I don't think I can get another year out of Kirby Yates. I think, you know what? I'm going to bring back Presley. I'm going to give him eight mil and then the rest I'm going to hold off on and see what else is available because we should have money to play with, right? And we have 5 million in the budget. That's a lot. So arbitration is going to go to everybody. Ooh, Teoscar wasn't a free agent just yet. He had one more year of arbitration. I'm going to give everybody a contract there. I'm going to double check arbitration. Yeah, everybody's getting it there. Let me see what's available here. So I really want to sign somebody. I need to sign somebody. Okay, so how was Jose Barrios? Really good. I think he's going to be my top target. I just feel like maybe, maybe Severino as well. So I'm going to probably target them. What about Nola? Not Nola. So it's probably going to be one of these two guys. Bullpen, I think our bullpen looks really good. If we do, we could always make a trade. And then offensively, what do we need to change, man? Yeah, we let Michael Brantley go, but like, I might just bring him back. He's going to be somewhat cheap. He kind of fits that leadoff role really, really well. And that's what we kind of need, a leadoff hitter. And anybody else is going to kick somebody out of a spot. So Bring back Brantley. Don't change the offense. Only strengthen the pitching. We should be good. See you guys for the final season. So season three, I was looking around what trades I could make, what signings maybe, things things just to improve the team. And I was looking around. I don't think there was much that we could do. We're coming off a really good year. I decided to bring Taiwan Walker back. I'm going to move Alec Manoa. I think I've been saying Alex this whole time. It's Alec. I don't... Maybe I didn't get enough coffee this morning, but Alec Manoa, not Alex. I know, I know I've been saying Alex this whole time. So we've got Manoa in the long relief spot. We're going to let Pearson be the five. We're going to bring back Taiwan Walker. He's been phenomenal for us. And like, 
now that I'm saying that, I'm jinxing it. I know he's going to do poorly, but we're going to keep Corbin Burns as well. Ryu, and then, of course, Barrios on a pretty big contract, but we're going to keep him. And then, I mean, the bullpen was phenomenal last year. No reason to change it. We're going to give our rookie, Julian Lofgren, a chance. Hopefully, he does well. And then you look at the lineup, no changes except for Austin Martin's going to play third base for us. And then Guriel is going to be the DH. And then when we don't have a DH, Martin's going to move to the bench. And then that's really about it. I mean, the team was fantastic last year. Everyone seemed to kind of hit their stride, do really well. So I don't want to change it. Everything's going great. I like the team that we've assembled here. And I mean, we've, we've got to be rated highly now. Only 13th. Are you kidding me? Really? Really? Maybe the pitching's not good enough? I don't know. Do we go out and make a trade? You know what? I, I have faith in the team. A lot of it's all about letting these young players develop and seeing how they do. So I like the team we've assembled. Let's see how this year plays out. I'll see you guys at the end of it. So another wild card appearance. We just we just can't get that first spot. Like it's it's killing me. So who won again the Rays and then the Yankees beat us by three games? Man, we're ranked fourth. Like we're a good team. We just maybe just were a little unlucky. That's that's just unfortunate. That that sucks. So we could have some wild card magic once again. Let's take a look at the awards. Jordan back to back MVPs. Christian Yelich. Okay. Nola, of course, Nola gets a Cy Young after I say I don't want him. You've got Bieber, you're down for the title along with Trey Turner, Winkler, tried to get him, he didn't want to join us, Robert Pawson, and Adonis Medina, Rookie of the Year. Okay, let's take a look at our staff. Manoa is improving, but you know what? He's just not good on MLB The Show, just not yet. You've got Barucki, Romano, Ferguson, Lofgren struggled a bit. Hicks and Presley. For the most part, the bullpen was actually really good the last two years. I'm really happy with it. Jose Barrios was a great pickup for us. You've got Ryu who's still pitching well. Corbin Burns did well. Taiwan Walker did take a little bit of a step back, but as a four, I'll definitely take that. And Nate Pearson is definitely improving. So I like to see that. So overall, I'm really happy with the pitching the last couple seasons. It's actually done their job. When you take a look at the lineup, let's see what we got here. Tommy Lastella was a great it's just a great bench bat for us. Like, always did the job. And dude, Rowdy Telez was super disappointing. Uh, Michael Brantley did take a step back. But you know what? Still decent. Still pretty good numbers. Bo Bichette took a little bit. Actually, pretty identical to last year. Almost identical to last year. George Springer took a little bit of a step back. Just a little bit. Teoscar Hernandez is still putting up really good numbers. Lourdes Gurriel is putting up good numbers. Austin Martin in his rookie year. Fantastic. Like, those are just 69 games. Nice. 300 average. Almost a 900 OPS. Like, I mean, he's he's making a case for being in the starting lineup every day. Vlad's doing well. Biggio's doing decent. You've got Kirk, who was pretty consistent. Um, so what I would probably do is move Correa back to the outfield to take over for Brantley. You know, put Martin at third every single day. And then that's kind of the lineup. And you just kind of find a DH. I mean, I feel like that's the... That's the team you rock with. So, boom, we win. Love to see it. Now we're taking on the Rays. We're going to put Barrios there and rock like that. So, let's see how we do against the Rays. And we are eliminated. Nate Pearson gets the loss there. Only three innings out of him. That's, you, you hate to see that. And it looks like Hicks blew it there. Tough, 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 tough. So the offense looks like, ooh, Austin Martin. Oh, Austin Martin didn't even get in at bat. That's weird. Um, but, I mean, the offense did their job. It looks like the pitching really dropped the ball on this one, which sucks because I felt like we put together <laughs> we put together a pretty strong pitching staff. We put together a really good team. Man, that's tough. That's tough. So, unfortunately, that's where it ends. But we did win a World Series with this Blue Jays team. I mean, Springer, Kirby Yates, those are good signings. Tyler Chatwood, if he can stay healthy, is usually a really, you know, good, you know, back end of the rotation guy. I feel like the Blue Jays are making a lot of good signings. We'll see how they finish out their offseason. But that's about it, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And, of course, get in the comment section. Let me know if you thought Springer was going to sign with the Blue Jays. And that's really about it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.